My name is Exabyte, and today I'm going to be showing you a laser maze. The object of this maze is to get the laser from the green block all the way to the red block without hitting any walls. And to start it, we will push this button, and it is kind of slow, so I am going to be speeding the footage up a bit. And see, when we do that, it just crashes right into the wall. So, what we need to do is we need to get some stairs. And then, we can redirect the laser. Like, if I can place the stairs, there we go. Like that. And then, when I click it, if it starts in the right position, there we go. Now, the stairs will bounce the laser off towards the ceiling, where it will eventually hit it and despawn. Now, in order to make it to here, we would need to put them in other places. For, like here, um, we could really put it anywhere we wanted here, and then we'd need another one. Make sure they're aligned to loop around like that. And then, we could start it up, and watch it go. Actually, uh, yeah, I think that one, yeah, that one started too high, so we're gonna wait for it to crash. There we go. Now let's start it again, and watch it actually work. There we go, that one started properly. There we go, and as I'm sure you saw, this was actually, like, simulated, like, it wasn't just running on a path, like, it, it would, um, depending on what things you put down, it would make whatever pattern you put down in the stairs. Now, how this works is a bit more complicated, as I'm sure you can see, but how it works is, when you push this button, it will send a redstone signal that will activate this command block, which sets any uh, entity with the name of scoreboard to the laser value of 1. So it'll set this to 1. And then it'll summon a armor stand called laser right there. Then over here we have a pulse which uh, will run to all these command blocks. And now these command blocks will test to see what the score what the laser score is and depending on what it is if it returns true then it will like un it'll then it'll um, power that which will allow this redstone pulse to flow through to the command block behind it and then that will teleport the laser in a certain direction so the laser score is essentially used to to determine what direction the laser should be heading in so by changing the laser score, you then tell this little device right here that the laser should be going in a different direction. And then from here, we move on to this section over here. So this section deals with the particles. Now this pulse will pulse all of these command blocks which check to see uh, what direction the armor stand is heading. And then if it is, and then if either of these return true, then it will power these command blocks right here. And if those command blocks are powered, then it'll summon an armor stand with the name laser P underscore V. The V is for vertical. And then if either of these are powered, then it'll summon an armor stand with H, which is for horizontal. And then how this works is it essentially lays a path of vertical and horizontal armor stands along its path and then these over here will do particles at those armor stands that will be in either vertical or horizontal position 
and then that will sort of give the effect of having a big long trail of fire aiming in whatever direction it was headed. And then from there we have this little thingy right here which is essentially the the wind condition like it checks to see if the laser is inside a redstone block and then if it is then it will power this uh, killing the laser killing all the vertical and horizontal armor stands and broadcasting that you won then over here we have well this one's quite large and it's essentially made out of 16 of these little um, nodes so I'll just describe what one node does um, this, each node will check to see if it bleh, it'll check to see like if it hits a stair block and then if it hits a stair block of a certain rotation at from a certain direction then it'll go off in a different direction and we have a whole bunch of these 16 in fact checking for all of the different directions that it's coming into and all the different directions that it would bounce off into and with all of that we now have a laser maze that will actually follow the path that you've determined if you enjoyed this video then give it a like and if you want to see more then subscribe and if you have any questions or suggestions let me know down in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.